So this is a man called Nabil, and um, he's been on Britain's Got Talent, and apparently he's uh, upset quite a few people. Uh, he's not upset me. I've just I just find him a bit uh, a bit tedious and a bit um, a bit sort of a panhandling towards the basic most basic jokes he, uh, anyone can make. Uh, but he, before he even gets started, he just as soon as he comes on, yeah, Alicia she didn't have any sort of funny jewelry on that might upset people, or and, and Dashley wasn't doing any kind of funny dances just to upset people. But she did have a, a she must have been on something. She must have been having a few of the yellow bentines around the back because uh, as soon as there's uh, Nabil come on, but he, he sort of says hello to everyone and then... Um... What's going on? Hey, hey. How's everyone doing, all right? Good. Why even start? <laughs> so, yeah, um, Alicia Dixon, she's... Um, <laughs> she can't even make any, any actual words. I don't know why she's slurring her speech. Has she got some sort of speech impediment? Has she... Uh, 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 she'd been on some funny, uh, yeah, some funny, sort of funny tablets from around the back. I, I, that's possibly the case. But what is it that's got people upset? Well, first of all, he talks about how he's being famous. Um, I don't watch Britain's Got Talent regularly. I understand this is the semi-final, and he's getting recognised. And he talks about uh, people recognising him in the street. And um, yeah. Oh, it's him! Gotta get a picture! Gotta get a picture! Gotta get a picture! I'm like, yeah, sure. Sure, let's have a picture. We take a picture. Oh my god, I'm a big fan. Not as big as you, though. <laughs> so, uh, there's a fat joke. There's a fat joke. Wasn't it exciting? Uh, are you laughing in the aisles? According to BGT, they can't stop laughing. He'll have you roaring with laughter. He's not getting... He's not having me roaring with laughter at all. Maybe laughing at him. Uh, not with him. Because he's just... I can't find him funny at all. But uh, why... You know, but people are happy to get to have a picture taken with him. Oh, why is that, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I can't wait to go home and show my kids, right? I can't wait to show them that I met Big Nasty. <sighs> yeah, apparently he um, looks like Big Nasty, uh, rapper, I understand. And, of course, because um, he, he's got the Black Lives Matter thing there, so uh, that's another thing that's triggering people, because he's, again, well, like... Um, Alicia Dixon with a necklace. He's now bringing out the Black Lives Matter movement as a point of reference on his uh, his comedy routine. Uh. <laughs> another, another. Oh, and even worse, there's all the fake laughing, not just from Alicia, but um, I mean, actually, David Williams once in part of this that I saw, he seems surprisingly conservative in it with a small C. Uh, he's usually a bit of a C, but he's yeah, he's quite um, quite toned down. He's like sort of smiling and not really finding it funny underneath. Meanwhile, Alicia Dixon, she's like, ha, ha, ha. And uh, you know, the 60-year-old uh, Amanda Holden, she's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, it's hilarious, isn't it? And um, it was the other one on the panel. Oh, Ashley Banjo, yeah, with his silly dancing. Uh, yeah, he's he's clapping and clapping and clapping. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, and uh, Drunken Deck as well. And then he continues to go for the obvious. <laughs> I said, that's cool. Um, can I go now or am I still being detained, officer? Like, oh, no. <laughs> Some people watching will think, oh, it's another one of those Black Lives Matter guys doing jokes about stop and search. No, it's a joke about being fat. Okay? It's not really, though, is it? It's not really at all. Big Nasty and I are both fat. We just happen to be black, too. Don't throw in the race card, guys. <laughs> there you go. Ah, he's, oh, I, I'm pretending to laugh. Yeah, um, I can't think of anything to say. So I'll just pretend like I'm enjoying it. People ever get mistaken for each other, especially not by police. No! <sighs> well, sounds like an impression of a horse there. Oh, and then he starts making jokes about people in the far right. Uh, God, really? Like angry far right guys come out, because obviously there's so many other types of far right guys. You see, angry far right guys <laughs> come out. Yeah, yeah, look at that, mate. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's, 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 it's terrible, right? Look at him doing jokes about being black and Muslim, right? If a white non-Muslim did that, it would be... <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just, it's just so, it's so politically correct for a Saturday night primetime ITV audience. It's lazy in the extreme. And then he just realises uh, comedy is not his forte, and he just starts trying to be all political as well. <sighs> just thinking that, you know, and sort of, 
it's called playing to the audience playing to the audience and just saying the cheapest tat he can get away with and here, here we go because look at england is one of the best in fact the best country to live in bar none but look what happened rich country but we were fighting for food in supermarkets. We were losing our jobs. Our hospitals were crowded. We were trying to get into other countries and they weren't letting us in. But the weather was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you can see her face falling apart. <laughs> for one summer, England felt what it was like to be African. Laugh, I nearly paid my license fee. The most amazing thing is this, right? We had no toilet roll. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely no toilet roll. So well, that's not actually true. This, they, they did sell out in stores because people, some people went a bit mad. Thankfully, the stores did um, put a stop on that and allow people a maximum number of about three packets that anyone could buy at any one time. But the country never actually ran out of toilet roll. The people who make toilet roll said there's plenty of toilet roll to go around, and that was proved when people were curtailed from buying so many in one go. That's just down to a few idiots. But the country never actually ran out of toilet roll, but um, <sighs> facts, you know. So the bill isn't the least bit funny in my view, but uh, Tony Hutchinson, well, are they Tony Hutchinson from uh, Hollyoaks? Probably not. Yeah, Nabil, he introduced himself, and um, Alicia, yeah, she's just um, off the chart straight away. Even though uh, Mike Tyson, he's got his own issues, after things that he's been in jail for. And then we have, uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nabil, Alicia Dixon. Oh my god, he's so funny. Yeah, that's, that pretty much sums it up. And Nabil just nailed it with the most accurate description of what England is going through in the mentality of the far right. Excellent comedy. Really? That's excellent comedy? God, what do you do for an encore? Michael McIntyre? Colourful, is it right? I get it, but it wasn't really funny though. But then um, Stephanie Raymond's got an issue, and this is probably what's going to dominate the papers in the morning. Nabil, mm, off you. Mm, how is this mm, allowed? Oh, yes, because, yeah, that's why. Disgusting, this was allowed. It works both ways. So Stephanie, uh, she's got a few issues going on. So, oh, my God, we got a life waiting for replies. Calm down, Karelia. Karening intensifies. <laughs> And clearly sums it up with, sick of it all, especially the fake laughter from the judges. Yeah, it's just all, it's all incredibly, incredibly lazy. But um, yeah, it's triggered the triggered people as, as well. So um, this is quite fun to trigger the triggered. Uh, that's always entertaining. So I'll leave it right there on this video. Please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the little bell for all the notifications and cue Genesis.